Hi, my name is Nakoda Davis. I'm 22 years old and I do judo at the British Judo Centre of Excellence um, and I fight in the under 57 kilogram weight category class. I started judo in my school just as an after school club and I was quite a small girl and a bit shy and sort of not very tough and mum thought well you know if anyone picks on you at school it would be good for you to learn some self defence and fight off all the boys so that's how I got into it and to be honest I hated it, I hated it all through school and you know I didn't like fighting that much but um, I think I stuck at it and I had a really really nice coach and she looked after me really well so I think because there was quite a good bond there I just continued it and then moved to a bigger club and then club was really competitive and then I just got into it from there. I didn't really like fighting and you know when it when it would get too rough I didn't like it. I'd be like okay can we stop now I don't want to do this anymore and I didn't really like competitions either I didn't like the pressure of of competing um, but it, it's weird how things change I mean it's completely different now I quite thrive on the um, like you know being nervous for a competition and the excitement and the build-up beforehand um, and I quite like a fight now so <laughs> when I tell people what I do they just go you're not very big and you don't look very hard, so, but um, I like the fact that it's, it's deceiving. It worked, it got me tough. Yeah, definitely, I, I hold my own now. I'm not very big now, but, you know, I like to think that I am. I'm, Personality-wise, I'm very big. <laughs> my mum's always been a single mum looking after me and my brother, so it's always been tough and we only actually did judo as a sport growing up because my mum couldn't actually afford to take us to any other activities. So I think for her, she's you know she always gets quite emotional about talking about the fact that I've actually made it in judo because she didn't really expect it. She just thought, you know, I want them to do something and although I can't afford for them to probably do all the things that they want to go, maybe go to dance classes or learn an instrument, you know, judo was a sort of a cheaper way for us to actually do something after school. So I, I think she's really happy because she never kind of saw this come in. So I'm quite happy I can um, sort of do her proud every time that I go out to compete. She's just happy that I'm there, whether I win or lose. Before I moved here, um, I was working um, after I left college. My mum's a single mum, so she didn't really have the money anymore to just keep supporting me. So once I left college, um, I started working and at one point I think I was working three jobs just to sort of support myself and fund my judo. I was working in schools so I would get on my bike and drive to all my schools in the daytime and either in the morning or in the evening I'd have shifts in a Japanese sushi shop um, so <laughs> I would work there and, and they were really really nice and they really looked after me as well and they were really flexible with my judo so if I needed six days off they'd just give it to me and then as soon as I got back I'd be working from the day that I got back um, and I also did a bit babysitting as well when I could so yeah, it was pretty full on and uh, quite stressful. So, I mean, I'm, you know, this setup here is really, it was really perfect for those people who do want to become, you know, an Olympic champion one day or really just want to focus on judo. When I was 16, I, I had to apply to become a British citizen because even though I was born here, both of my parents are Jamaican, so um, I hadn't actually been away to an international tournament until I was 16. And then I went away for the Cadet European, so obviously the biggest one, you know, for my age at that time. Um, and in my first fight, I had quite a good Russian girl first fight, and I didn't really have any expectation. I didn't think I'd do very well. And I sort of walked out and just threw her straight away for a Nippon. And I just remember sort of feeling like, wow, I literally just did something amazing. So for me, I think that was the turning point where, I, I mean, the way I reacted as well, I was so kind of so happy and so overwhelmed and emotional. I sort of thought, no, this is, this is what I want to do. Like, I could see myself really achieving something in the sport.